Good morning. Welcome to the Long Dark. The, uh, I've got a slightly new setup happening here. So, the green screen is not as clean as I'd like it to be, but I can't fiddle with it anymore. So, we're just, we're just gonna go. <laughs> we'll see about fixing it, uh, later for another stream. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I think... I think we're going to make it to the forge today. We're going to try real hard, at least. Um, but we will pick back up again with Delilah. Uh, as you can see, we are half dead already, so that's great. Um, but we are getting closer. Good morning, NRST. All right, let's start. Okay, let's check inside the scavenge to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, I'm gonna say I couldn't remember if I had searched this when I got off or not. there was a wolf just outside. Let's see how we're doing on things. Okay, got a bunch of tinder, but not firewood. Sticks, though, is okay. I'm not wearing the ear wrap. Why, though? That's something I can't do. I can work on repairing that, because that'd be really good. He'll tell the wolf to go away. Might dump some of this extra clothing in this cabin. Got a bunch of cattails for food, which is good. Three shooting books. None of those do me any good. Don't need two can openers. Okay. I got plenty of extra cloth right now. We're gonna just dump the clothing we're not wearing. Aw. Hi Seahawk, thank you for joining me. Breakfast sounds great. I'm gonna dump one of my sewing kits in here as well. What was the other thing I said I was gonna throw in here? I don't remember now. Gotta spend time prepping these. Ah, the can opener. That's right. Don't need that. Alright, so let's, we are going to spray paint this chest so that I know I've put supplies in it. I'll put that on the outside of the cabin as well, so I know what's going on. Um, mm -mm. Prepare the ear wrap. Because I don't want to lose that. That got torn up. There's no getting it back. 
His pants are in really bad condition, but I also don't think I'm going to keep jeans long term. I could eat anything right now. I'm tempted to just not bother. Alright, let's take a look outside. We spent a half hour repairing our air wrap. Let's take a look outside. Snowing, that's not a big deal. And I just walk down that way. He's walked away, so that's good. Uh. As some of you may notice, I have left those train tracks I was so insistent about earlier. That is okay. I know, broadly, where I am, and I will reconnect with those train tracks in a bit. Those are destroyed. But I know if I had stayed on the train tracks from the dam all the way to here, I would um, run into a lot more wolves. So, I was trying to avoid a bunch of that. You know... Thank you for reminding me, Beagle Bar, because I totally didn't spray paint the outside of that cabin, but that's okay. I don't think it'll be that big a deal. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But when you spray paint things outside, it will actually mark it on your map, too, um, what your spray painted symbols are. So if you set up multiple bases with different kinds of things, you can... You can keep track of stuff like that. There's nothing. There's nothing in this. This is an extremely disappointing cabin. I do. I do want to go to the forge. We're going to meet back up with the train tracks to get there. Um, but I wanted to get around this lake and check out these cabins as well. And to pick up supplies and, and avoid that wolf territory. and all this grass. going down this way, down down there is the main cabin office. God, I a horse. See, we're going west. Um, the cabin office has a nice little setup in it, and I want to check that out. But I want to go through here, because there's a little cave offshoot as well. Um, that might have more supplies, and I just, just want to gather as many supplies as I can as I go. We'll eat and drink and stuff before we go to bed. The sun's almost set. So I think we're going to stay at the camp office if I can. If I can get there, okay. 
And from there, we'll be able to see the train tracks. You can remove spray paint from things, Bingo Lard. Um, the character just sort of wipes them up with their sleeve. Uh, so not super believable, but uh, you can you can spray paint things and you can remove the spray paint from things. Um, but spray paint cans are a limited resource. They don't respawn. You just find what you find. Um, so something to keep in mind there as well. That connects over in a different place. I'm actually going to keep going. The snow is making my clothing wet, which is making me colder over time, too. I don't like that I'm so low health. Um... Like that's the thing that's been bothering me the most lately is that I'm I'm constantly spending my health to make more progress, which is good. That's what you have the health for. But it just puts me at such a risk all the time. Uh, yes, graffiti art uh, has has been a thing, and people will drop supplies and stack them up in random shapes, too. Um, and actually, if you get really good at that kind of thing, you get a bunch of extra supplies making, like, lines through the snow that you can follow during a blizzard can be helpful in certain areas. So, yes, Seahawk, uh, decoys are a thing. Using raw meat, whether that's a whole rabbit carcass or just meat or, or things like that, you can drop those and get the wolf's attention on those instead of you. You can also... They, the wolves in the Long Dark kind of function like Metal Gear Solid security guards. You can toss a rock, and they'll go check out the noise rather than follow you. So you, you got options uh, for getting around them. Hello, Raven. So here we go. Mystery Lake Camp Office right here. So this is where we're going to spend the night. I'm going to grab these rose hips, too. Because they don't go bad. I can't feel my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get inside. Check around for supplies, and we'll spend the night here for sure. I think my stomach is eating itself. Oh, you complain so much, Delilah. Um, she's uncomfortable, but she'll do okay. Uh, so this makes an all right home base. You got a little I'm workbench here to, this load for much longer. to supply things, and there are beds upstairs. Um, you got a cooking surface down here and another cooking surface upstairs. Nope, spray paint is just for marking things. And there's some more. I'm gonna hold on to that coffee for sure. So, part of the new setup and why the, the green screen is a mess today is I've actually, uh, for the first time, have two monitors set up now. So, we'll be playing around with how things are arranged. As we go on, but I'm very excited. I've got I've got a full setup now, so I can I can see everything. I, I've got a preview of the stream now, so I can see how things are going. I 
would drink almost anything about now. Beansy and I came up this way in the summers. We were knock-kneed goofy kids. We fished and played with swords made out of sticks, wove leaky baskets from the reeds. You could row across the lake. Those little cabins at the far end where the tourists came and fished, hunted the deer, and had our parties. We stood behind the counter and watched Dad welcome them, looked at the guest book and read the names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes to the sky. Always to come back. Always. Uh, I assume Beansy is a username of a Kickstarter backer. But hey, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's an international name. It could be Norwegian, I don't know. Second cooking pot. I don't know if I can actually afford to carry that, but... Dang it, we're gonna try. Um, okay. So, what I do want to do here... No, I lied, I don't want to do that here. So, I've got the birch saplings on me. Which is what we're gonna use to turn into arrows. Um... Each birch sapling turns into three arrow shafts. So this is arrow shafts for 15 arrows, which is great. Um, but they need to be cured. Uh, since we're going to spend the night here, we'll drop them all right here and let them start curing overnight. Um, gotta eat something. So what I want to do is I want to get them at a location where they're going to cure, and after we go to the forge and make arrowheads, we'll come back and pick them up. Um, <laughs> um, yes, the multi-monitor setup is just absolutely fantastic. Super necessary. Uh, let's take a drink, and I want to see if I can get, like, an hour of reading in before it gets too dark. Where are we on our book reading? <sighs> so, I believe we haven't started anything. We picked up a new cookbook, which is good. No, the shooting guides are no good to us. So we've got sewing to repair our clothes, field dressing for better harvesting from animals, fire starting, and more cooking. Oh, that seems really worthwhile to get fire starting up, just to increase my chance. <sighs> Let me we'll read an hour. See if it gets too dark. Research a second hour? Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Okay, now it's too dark to read. That's fine. Um, I'm actually gonna there's no firewood by this, which is weird for me. There usually is. I don't need so much paper now, because I've got all these cattails um, to start fires with. So, that'll be my tinder. I don't need to carry this many, though. It's still probably too many on my person, but that'll save me a pound. Right, Seahawk. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to fail at starting a fire a bunch of times in a row. Any little bit I can get will help. Um, I didn't actually put you on. What am I even doing? All right. We're gonna eat a bunch of food. We're gonna drink an herbal tea. We're gonna sleep. Recover a bunch of health. 
and then pick up those birch saplings and continue on in the morning. Yes, Raven, with the, uh, the weight limits without well-fed, uh, I miss it. I miss well-fed. Actually, we're gonna drink an herbal tea. That'll get our thirst up. Can I find a bed? Sleep. Oh, the wind stopped, which is nice. It's still very early. I'm holding both cooking pots, that feels so luxurious. Probably cannot afford that extra weight, but I kind of just don't want to go without it. Um, yes, yes, the cattails are are the they're a, a super important mainstay of interloper level play. So we're gonna read the book, so then we'll start warming up outside. Honestly, probably should have started a fire to get some more water. But there wasn't any firewood here, which is what I was really hoping for. Not much of anything here, to be honest. Alright, so they got half a day of curing done. Oh my goodness, I completely missed this. Okay, good. So, there. That's... Oh, it's 94% condition. Okay, we can now lay down a bedroll very nearly anywhere to sleep. Um, we've been traveling without one for so long. Yes, Raven, I'm glad you saw it too and thought the same thing. Free bedroll. Okay, there are like three possible places on the map it can show up on interloper difficulty. That was insanely lucky. Just insanely lucky. <sighs> okay. Well, I feel much better about our chances now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're just going to move on. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Yeah, but you're going to carry it, because we're going to move this. I want to move those birch saplings to a different location that I actually want to go back to. On our way back. This camp office is nice, but it's not actually where I'd want to set up my, my more permanent base. <laughs> uh, Night Owl. The, yes, the choice between the fire starting and the cooking... Uh, books to start. I feel like I could argue both sides um, just fine. The ability to start a fire, like, even just 5% more often is a big deal. And at the same time, I'm wanting to get my cooking skill maxed out as fast as possible. So, if I'm in a situation where, like right now, I've got 30 cattails, I have all the tinder I could want, and I've harvested a whole bunch of sticks. Uh, with a higher cooking skill, the food I cook has more calories. So, if I can strategize my way into being able to take however many chances I need to start a fire... Uh, the extra food is a real boon. Uh, but, you know, you can go both sides. <laughs> so, where I'm going to set up this base is actually... I, I don't... 
I don't know if I want to call anything a permanent base. That feels too strong. Um, but the next, the place I want to set these birch saplings is actually uh, the Trapper's Cabin, which is a super popular place to set up a base uh, for a lot of people. It's safe. It's got a workbench. It's small but well organized. Um, you got access to rabbits and deer and stuff near it. It's just a really nice cabin um, to get set up in. It's still super cold. I wonder if I should have read for another two hours. <laughs> Jesus, this is cold. We might need to start a fire out here before we get to Trapper's Cabin. We're close, but not that close. You see, train tracks. We're back on track. I knew right where I was going. Oh god. Oh, and he's just like on it. Punk. I can barely walk with this much gear. Really? You're just gonna come around right back? Just like that? really want him tailing me the whole way. I want to search for supplies and keep moving. Be able to stop and start a real campfire. I don't have any raw meat on me. I don't know why he's so just hungry for me. load for much longer. Keep running. Uh, so I was kind of hoping I was going to make a, like, a wind shelter or something. Um, that's not really going to happen here, because I'm in the middle of a field. Well, now that that torch is completely burned out, let's just keep walking. So I was thinking what I was going to do there was start a fire and oh, maybe stupid. use that hacksaw on that giant limb to get more firewood just while I was sitting there, but... I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I need to do. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. That wolf was super inconvenient.
So that's how you deal with wolves, by the way. They, uh, they don't like fire, and if you just sort of threaten them around the fire, they might come charging at you, but you can also spook them off. I finished up that fire starting book. I'll spend more time prepping the, uh... Maybe I should do that when it's too dark. When it's too dark to read, I will spend time prepping a bunch of tea. More coal. We're gonna hold on to that. Because uh, we're getting closer and closer to the forge, and when we get there, I'm gonna want... Plenty of coal. I don't know how well I'm doing on that survival propane panda right now. I'm losing health and I'm half dead. Uh, so we're just kind of we're just kind of hoping at this point. Now that I found a bedroll raven, I think if I said there's no guns, that's not entirely true. You can find the signal flare gun. And that would be my most effective weapon against animals. Obviously, it's super limited resource, but... It always spooks the animals, and you can, uh... You can totally instant kill things with a headshot while they're charging you. Over there. Wind is picking up. Starving. We'll make sure to check that out on our way out, but so I feel like we have just boatloads of birch saplings at this point. Um, which is great. The... Oh, okay, um... So there's a moose. There's Trapper's Cabin. So we're gonna go over to the cabin, and we're gonna avoid the moose. I feel like I have so many things to talk about now. So, I need three crow feathers per arrow. We don't have that many feathers. I think that's going to be our limiter once we get our arrowheads. Um, so we'll want to work on that. That moose is very interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Raven, for making use of the better Twitch TV emotes. I put a lot of thought into picking those out. Please just don't notice me. Okay, I think we're good. So, yes. Um, like I said, there's so many things to talk about. We'll get in the Trapper's Cabin, we'll talk more about the moose in a minute. But first, this is where I want to set up a base. Especially since a moose can spawn here. Alright. Whole bunch of birch saplings. Feels good. Uh, get those curing. Oh, let's open everything up. So, moose. 
Uh, moose can be aggressive. You can also spook them. Moose are technically prey animals. Technically. Um, this will come in handy. Which is important because, especially on higher difficulties, uh, eating predator meat carries a risk of parasites. Um, you can get worms, and I've never had that happen. I don't actually know what it does. I just know that sounds super bad. There are already two cooking pots in here. Oh boy. Yup, that's a base. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Okay, um, so I believe there's only one or two magnifying lens in the entire map. And a magnifying lens lets us start a fire without matches so long as it's daylight. Uh, so that's super cool. It also never gets worse in condition. It never goes bad. So... There you go. Die if I don't get some food soon. Thank you. So yes, moose, technically a prey animal. So the meat is super duper good, uh, but it can attack you, and um, that's very spooky. We don't want that. Uh, they're also the only animal that doesn't bleed out. If you hit any other animal with a gun or an arrow, they will eventually bleed out and die. Uh, even if it's a bear. The moose doesn't do that. So if you're going to kill a moose, you need to finish it. And moose hide is super good because you can make a satchel that lets you carry more stuff without going over your weight limit. So moose, super duper good. Absolutely want to kill a moose at some point. Uh, just also very scary, very dangerous. And it being here means I can use the cabin for shelter. So I can pop out, shoot an arrow at it, as it starts charging, hop into the cabin, it gets confused, step back out, shoot it again. Those are options. We'll, we'll see about that as we go. <sighs> I'm just going to catch up on chat for a second. No, there are no orca in this game. But uh, Anaristi is right. One of the chief predators of moose is Orca in the real world. All right, let's read this note. You won't remember me. The world doesn't stop when the lights fade. This is how it begins. Stay calm. Observe. Survive. Your father saw this day. Don't believe what you hear. What he did was for a far-off dawn. Maybe you can recall the fire? Your father understood that we dance for our children's children's children. My dear, one day you will feel the voices rise in your heart. Enter a cave and stand until stars appear. Climb the highest peak. Sing when the brutality hits. I'm here with you. The winter winds can only get so cold. Uh, okay, so we need to eat and drink some water and make sure we have everything set up in here that we need. I haven't checked the safe yet. Um, got a little bit of food to cook. I feel like what I want to do is start a fire and boil a whole bunch of water since I have two pots. And then I'll eat my questionable food. And if I get sick, I won't have to worry about being dehydrated. So I don't have that a That guy torch. who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Sadly, cannot boil the uh, ketchup chips. All right, first try. Let's go. Um, I 
Alright, so two full pots of snow will take a little over two hours. Uh, and I want to cook these pork and beans too. So let's do that. We'll cook a coffee. Pass the time till those are ready. Take the coffee. We'll set these. So that's one hour. Ooh, it's one hour till melted, and then about another hour till boiled. There we go. So that'll get that done. Let's hope for the best. All right, no problems there. So I'm going to eat the dog food because it comes in a can, so it's heavier than, like, the granola bars. And I want to save as much weight as possible. <sighs> Haven't gotten sick yet. I know I'm just tempting fate doing this. I'm okay. All right. Delilah of the Iron Stomach. Love it. Um, let's crack this safe. That was about 13. Bingo Bard, you reveal you didn't watch Raven's stream. Go check out her VOD, and then you'll know who Grey Mother is. Grey Mother is an NPC from the uh, story mode. I'm sure this last one is forever. Looks like this has been here in a while. So it is good. I don't actually need an extra pry bar, so we'll set that down over here. Because I've already got one. Alright. Those are still doing their thing. So we got some time to kill. I gotta prepare these, or I'm never gonna I'm never gonna do it. of these bandages. I have more Oldsman beard dressing than I thought. Alright, half hour preparing the birch bark. So we can make birch bark's teas. Still have 50 minutes, and that's still going. Oh, rice mushrooms take a lot longer to prepare. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. That's okay, this is a good problem to have. I'm actually gonna drop a bottle of water here. Um, so 
when I come back here, there will be some water ready for me. That is going to end. Is there anything more I want to do here? Do I just stay the night here, you think? Before leaving? Seems extravagant, but I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's read our book. Uh, fire starting. Use. Finish the last two hours of that. Nice. So that's done now. So I must be very close to leveling up my fire starting skill. Alright, we're using up a bunch of time. There it is. Fire starting level two. Let me go check that out. So instead of a 45% chance, I now got a 55% chance to start fires. And my fires last longer now, too. So there we go. Um, okay, let us... Get the calories out of that. I suppose we would need another herbal tea, and then we can go to sleep. Um, it's not quite dark yet. I'm, I'm not super exhausted, so I think I'm going to prepare as many more of the teas as I can. Let's just, let's just finish these. Okay. So those are all prepared. We'll drink our herbal tea. And then we'll have a real drink of, of just water. We'll go to sleep. Bench chair. There's the bed. Full health in the morning? Almost. Almost full health in the morning. Alright. I'm not going to risk the bad food and now. I'm going to load up on the cattail stalks. Because um, where we're going, we'll find a whole bunch more. <laughs> whole bunch more. <laughs> Eat the sardines before they go bad. <laughs> there is not a book reading skill, no. Um... Thankfully, I would hate to collect the books and then just fail to understand them. That would make me very upset. Uh, okay, so we've read that. We're reading this. Probably finish it. It's too dark. It's almost light. Alright, I'm gonna drop... This, because I don't need it. This. These books are all very heavy. Um, hold on one of the shooting books. It takes 15 minutes. We're going to take some of the old man's beard lichen and we're going to turn it into an antiseptic wood dressing. Or a wound dressing. Okay. 
Okay. So that's pretty good. Because this stuff, super heavy. <laughs> this stuff, very light. Um, and so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this here and just work with the wound dressings. That'll save me. That'll save me a lot of weight as well. Still too dark. Okay. I'll just go back and forth until there's enough light. more of these. Like I said, we're going to get a whole bunch. Um, that's extra weight I don't need. And I'm actually going to store the antiseptic in here. Some pain pills. going to actually put on the ear wrap now before I forget for any longer. These guys are going along just fine. There's another shooting book. I've got two cookbooks on me and or two cook pots on me and two cook pots there. Got some scrap metal on me, so that's good. Turn the torch into a stick. I don't actually have a lantern. I can use this to start fires, too. And I have one accelerant, but we'll hold on to an extra one. I'm not going to do an unboxing. That's that's not going to happen. Uh, but I do look forward to my present getting here. Um, it is very kind of you to send me something. Uh, that's a bear. So we're just not going to get to check out that barn while we're here. Um, this is what I'm gathering. Oh, there's a bunch more birch saplings up there. Don't actually need those at the moment. And sometimes you get rabbits right up here, but not this time apparently. Oh well. Let's get back on the road. We got work to do. And it's just super cold. I've been out here for 10 seconds. This bear and the moose, both are there. cave goes.
world map. Does this go to Mountain Town? Mountain Town or Pleasant Valley? I don't actually know where this cave goes. It's not where I'm going, so we're going to leave again. But I'll poke in here, see if there's any more coal to grab. Warm up a little bit since it is just frigid this morning. I need to find some ski pants or something. Okay, so that map is just the world map. That's the that everyone has always. It's a basic layout of what the what the island looks like. Presence? Nope. Okay, we'll go back. It's interesting to seeing how this looks on stream. It looks much darker than it does on my screen. But at least you can see. Not a second moose. That that doesn't happen. Okay, I got three rocks on me. Uh, I could go see Max. He's just actually around that corner. You know what? Let's take a look. If I remember where he is well enough. See, there's a wolf there. Can you not? So here's Max. Damn, I'm freezing. Max had no presence for me. See a feather here, though. Just don't notice me, Wolfie. All right. Yeah, go chase those rabbits over there. Yeah. Uh, Max's last stand is super great possible loot location in every other difficulty. Apparently, nothing here today. You can find tools, you can find guns. I think on one of my playthroughs I found uh, a revolver with a couple of bullets there. Uh, I don't think... Oh, that's the sapling I cut down. Um, I don't think you can get a bear to hunt other animals. Uh, and I don't think you can get any wolf to kill a moose. How do I know what, Night Owl? I 
Oh, why do I call him Max? Because when you walk into the area in the, up, up above me, um, you'll see the names of new locations, and if you go next to him, it's called Max's Last Stand. or how I've been getting, like, a lot of empty containers lately. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Take that. That's good. region. Okay. So, we're freezing. Right now, and... I don't want to be freezing. It is unfortunately not sunny. Yes, we can start a fire with the shooting guide. I'm gonna wander around out here. I I want to start with more warmth. On, fire. So let's get warmed up. Lucky day. Oh god, I need a much warmer fire right now. Okay. Fine. Uh... There we go. It is... Very cold today. It's extremely frustrating. <laughs> so, one of the big. I didn't mean to drink that. Oh well, that's fine. Um,. One of the big differences on Interloper compared to other difficulties is on other difficulties, so long as you're by a fire, you're warm. Uh, but on Interloper difficulty, you gotta check what the actual temperature is. Uh, and you need it to feel greater than freezing, 32 Fahrenheit, uh, in order for you to not actually get colder. Uh, coal is really good at that, so boosted up the air temperature a lot. Uh, but you can see here the campfire is increasing the warmth in the area by 45 degrees. And I needed to do that so that I could actually start getting warm. Uh, so that's fun. So 
So we are in the forlorn muskig. What let me drop this? Yeah. Haha! -ha! This is what my map looks like. This is the world map. <laughs> this is my map. <laughs> um Forlorn Muskeg is where the forge is. So as soon as we're ready to go. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. There are, uh, I believe, up to three forges on the map. I don't know where they all are. This one, I know where it is. This is, this is where I've been trying to get to the, the whole time. Alright. Start taking torches. Each torch takes about ten minutes off the fire. I don't know if that'll get us all the way to where we're going without needing to light another match, but... Alright, so we warmed up enough that we're no longer at risk of hypothermia at the moment. Hypothermia is very bad. It runs on a separate meter from just your temperature. Um, and if you are cold and have hypothermia, instead of losing 20% health an hour, you, get, you lose 40% health per hour. So I wasn't lighting torches, I was taking torches from the campfire. And I was doing that so I would have more torches. Uh, and because I was fully warm, so I didn't need another hour's worth of fire. Right there. So this is a way for me to make use of that. Probably should have boiled some water, but whatever. So there are hundreds of cattails in, no, no, don't extinguish, in the Forlorn Muskeg. And we're going to harvest a whole bunch of them on our way to where we're going. Because forging uh, can take days worth of work. And I don't want to starve to death while I'm doing it. sense of direction necessary for the game is is real, and that's actually one of the things I like about it. 
One, because as you get more familiar with the map and you can better navigate your way around things, it's very rewarding because you've taught yourself something, which feels really good. But I also like that they, they made navigation an actual challenge. Nothing. Okay. Sometimes you can find stuff up there. Super cool hidden spot for loot. But never mind. Um, so I like that the navigation is an actual challenge. It makes it interesting. I'll take it. It's not good, but like she said, I'll take it. Firewood. Notice anything else? I feel like I'm probably missing some things, but whatever. We are on a mission! You know, sort of. A meandering mission. Uh, so this swamp is full of thin ice. Uh... And I have not memorized where it all is. So as we cross this, very real danger, we will fall into the ice, uh, become frigid cold, freeze all of our clothing, and die to hypothermia. Uh, we're going to do our best not to do that, but it can happen. As far as navigation goes, I only kinda know where I'm going, mostly. We're gonna hope for the best. This just feels like there's thin ice between these two things. Yep. So that's the thin ice indicator. That's what that looks like. The wind is picking up. It's putting my torches out. Absolutely frigid and snowing and windy and cloudy. I would absolutely be doing some mapping right now. I don't want to be clear about that. Oh, uh, I know that I have had sunny days where I haven't bothered, where I was in regions I was more familiar with. Uh, but here, absolutely, I would be doing more mapping. Um, but like I said, it takes ten minutes to do that. And I don't want to freeze to death. I got places to go, so... And with the low visibility, the mapping wouldn't be very great anyway. My fingers feel numb. So the visual cue is right near the bottom center of the screen, is where that was. Um... But you don't you don't have long. As soon as you start hearing that, you got a couple seconds. Maybe. To get off the thin eye. Do you mind? Get out of here. Why are you really just gonna turn right back around? here. I'm in the middle of something.
successfully crossed the thin ice. Thank you very much. Snow has just not let up all day. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Ooh, deer carcass. But like the the weather we've been having this run is part of why I don't have as many crow feathers. You don't have birds in the snow. I need a sunny days so that I can get more feathers. I don't... I am too cold to harvest this deer at all. Really want to though. I'm gonna grab these rocks since apparently I need them. Yes, crow feathers to make arrows. Oh my god. keep up my torches in this. Let's get rid of these buildings before this browser just makes it so I can't see anything. Fun fact, walking into the wind slows you down and takes more energy, more calories. See me sticking to the snow to avoid as much thin ice as possible. You do 
not need to lay down. We are almost there. Hello, Mr. Lucky BTG. Thank you for joining us. We are about to get our first forge on the uh, interloper. Spence Farmstead. And it doesn't look like much, but that is the forge. Oh, and a musical cue. Ooh. We have made it. This much gear. Let's start a fire. Uh, yeah, this is worth it. Perfect. So we gotta get the fire up to a certain temperature. And it will take time as well. So I'm gonna start loading that up now while I search the rest of this place. This will come in handy. Uh... Mr. Lucky, I don't know if that's a question or a statement. It's kind of a walking simulator. I don't disagree with that. You do a lot of walking. Hacksaw. Third hacksaw? That's the third hacksaw I've seen. I think I can use this. So up here is a bed we can sleep in. And if we keep the forge going all night, it's actually warm to sleep there too. the stars? Do you see that you are there? It's a fault of the mind to perceive separation. The same fault creates time. Look around. Observe. Your father was trying to preserve what we have. The boxes hold the seeds of the universe. Breathe deep and persist. Fix that goal in your mind. Concentrate on a single flower. You'll feel that warmth on your cheeks again. This is just a signal from beyond. It's just a passing cloud from another world. Songs of birds will fill pink skies. Remember, the weakest light breaks the deepest darkness. Check that too. How is our fire doing? Not quite. Keep that going. Hello, hello kitty. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. So, this is a spoilery secret, but behind these crates is a safe. We'll definitely be getting that before we leave. Additional coal. Check if there's anything on the outside here. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. And you can reach that safe back here. Fourteen. Thirteen. 
13 to 59. Thirteen zero. Hey, that's food. I like it. Nice. All right. Need one more piece of coal in here. I, think. I believe that's the math. beans. Let's drink some water. Those peaches are in atrocious condition. I am probably better off never eating those. Set a pot full of water. hours, four hours. Okay. Let's start with some arrowheads, because that'll match up with the uh, water. It's two hours. Scrap metal, forge. Oh, I need more scrap metal. Ooh, I lied. We're, uh... It's gonna end up just boiling out. That is okay. Here's what we do. Uh, I have been streaming The Long Dark for five weeks now. I can lay down and That's it. Right uh, this is my first real attempt at doing some interlopery things. I need to find food. The blizzard finally stopped, but it is sunset. Bye, Mr. Lucky. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been streaming this for for just over a month, maybe a month right now, give or take. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. All right. Uh, I want everything, so let's get this. Four hours. We're gonna keep burning for at least seven. Let's get a hatchet. Uh, Feels like night is coming. <laughs> I need to find food. We have a hatchet. <laughs> After all the complaining, we have a hatchet. It's, it's interesting you say that, Hilokity, because Stalker has more wolves, and while you have more tools to deal with the wolves, I don't find that as interesting. Um, Getting a bit thirsty. Do not eat those peaches. Do not. <laughs> uh. Just keep the fire going. So I just want to point out, Raven, you've you've played before. Achievement unlocked. Desolation point. <laughs> um, 
on Interloper, you cannot find a knife or hatchet. You have to build them. But we've done that now. So... Um, do I have... I don't have any made coffee, but I can, I can make some real quick. We'll make some coffee, and then we'll, we'll craft whatever arrows we can. I don't... I wish I had more scrap metal at this point. I'm curious if I can break that down, because I don't need it. I can harvest more scrap metal by taking apart the hacksaw. It takes two hours. Alright, so I am drinking the coffee to reduce my exhaustion. I'll stop losing health for a little bit. It won't last forever, but... I don't want to lose this fire. It's three hours. Alright. Uh, set. Water. Forge. Two hours worth of arrowheads. Drink water. Yeah, no guns here. You just have to craft a bow and arrows if you want to hunt. You don't need to. You can survive plenty long without, but... I definitely want it. Alright, so I got another two hours. I only have one more piece of scrap metal. I can get more by harvesting the hacksaw, which will take an hour, but I've got plenty of coal. I got plenty of coal. So let's just keep the fire going. We're just pulling all nighters. This feels insane to me to do, but that's another four arrowheads. I'm so tired. I should lay down right here. Cook another coffee. So that worked out really well. At some point, we're going to want to sleep. Sometime. All right, we've had the coffee. We won't get exhausted too fast. We're gonna boil more water. Just so that we're not wasting the fire. We've got two hours. Two hours of arrowheads. What do you know? Looks like we survived another night. Drink water. Stoke fire. It's only an hour. Might end up stoking the fire so that we can sleep. For now. We're gonna finish our last piece of scrap metal for arrowheads. Don't leave it. Uh, okay. 
we have successfully crafted 10 arrowheads. I'm happy with that. As well as uh, the hatchet and knife. So... We're doing really well. I want a little bit of sleep. And I... get like three hours of sleep so it'll be nice in the afternoon and we can work on getting out of here nice very nice. Okay. I think we're about done here. Um, we'll start working our way back to where we left our boat making supplies. Uh, this takes an hour. Half my calories. But I kind of want to do it. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is if you break down this crate, it has accelerants in it. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. And I believe it's this crate. This one's only 45 minutes. This crate has dog food. Not particularly good condition dog food, but dog food. Uh, no, I did not find a second hammer, Seahawk. And you'll never find a hammer here. You need to find a hammer and bring it to the forge. That is the only way you get to make tools. Um, that's why so much earlier on it was crucial that I remember to bring my hammer. <laughs> All right. I'm carrying a lot more than I really want to. Uh, to get back out of here, but at least the weather's not so bad, so we'll just take a slow trudge. Going back through things, Anaristi. Uh, yes, first we drink the coffee, then we do the things, just like in real life and also in the game. Uh, slightly worried about messing up my rhythm. That's why I only slept a couple hours. Um, we'll see if we need to get somewhere else to sleep as we go. I might need to dump some of the coal or something that I have on me. Some of the water, maybe. Uh, I don't really need two gallons of water. Um, getting all of the hides together. There's an achievement for it, too for wearing all of the different hide clothing. Um, feels so good. Uh, to be able to just stand outside and not get cold is so good. You know, I think at this point I'm actually too heavy for the deer as well, so... Well, Hello Kitty, I have never killed a moose. Uh, so if you have any tips, 
I ran into one while I was playing through uh, the story mode, Winter Mute. And I just saved, and I'm like, let me try this a couple of times, and it never worked. So... I don't know if I was doing something wrong or what, but... God, I did anything right about now. want to take a more direct line. I just I'm weighed down by so much gear at this moment. I need to assess that. The coats are very heavy. One of the things I haven't talked about very much, just because I've been encumbered constantly the entire time, um, is... My sprint meter, which I cannot use right now because I'm so encumbered, uh, when you're wearing heavier clothing, more of it becomes unusable. You cannot sprint for as long in heavier clothing. And all of the, the deer hide and wolf pelts, the clothes you make out of those really limit your running ability. Uh, but I feel like it's so worth it. Again, just to be able to be outside. Alright, I have to take an assessment of what I'm carrying. I know I'm exhausted too, is part of the problem. Uh, you know what? Didn't, we're just dropping those. We're never eating those. Uh, probably should have left some of the coal there, but whatever. Bunch of reclaimed wood at this point. I'm not going to be able to drop enough weight in order to do this at all. It's mostly the water. reduced a bunch of weight. And here's what we'll do. We will spray paint. There. So I have now marked on my map that I left some supplies there. Hello, real Hans Berger. Uh, yeah, we're like on day seven or eight. Uh, we started at nighttime. Okay, so we're probably closer to day ten, realistically. Because um, we this run started at sunset. Uh, so the day counter is off. But I could go drop the hammer. Um... I just want to get moving. Um, and I didn't get more sleep because if I slept a full amount, it would have been the middle of the night when I was awake. And so my plan is to move and then sleep at night time. It's probably a bad plan, but you know. Can we make it? Hey, we made it okay. Never been so hungry in my life. Uh, you know, I probably should have left a bunch of the books back at Trapper's cabin. It's 
buttons. I wasn't going to be reading them while I'm out here. I would have been smart. With this much gear. Raven, we are going to try to work our way back to Trappers, because that's where we left the Arrow Shafts. Uh, I might be able to walk on the train. That is a maple sapling. I want that. Then I don't have to make it all the way back to Coastal Highway. Alright. Need new plan. I am in a very vulnerable position. Come on, little fire. Have a good one, Hello Kitty. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I just need to close my eyes. Let's cook some coffee. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Apparently that torch was one too many. I don't have many commands set up, but I do have the log. Never, you never spend time watching me. I don't know. I don't even know why you're here right now. <sighs> Lots of wolves howling at each other. I don't know that the color of the ice and thickness actually aligns. It might. It just always sounds like a rumor to me. Man, don't rest um, soon, I'm fight. Maybe I'm wrong. See, because this is all dark too. I don't. I don't trust that.
It feels like that's the way it used to be. This pack is getting Maybe too I'm wrong. Carry. Okay, that's what I thought, Hansberger. At least in, in real life. Or in, in the video game. In real life, it absolutely would matter, but in the game, I don't, I don't think it does. half-eating just to reduce the weight. are working on the next we were here um i saw i saw an ad or something for it i don't know if it's on early access or or what but it is coming May. Okay. I knew it was soon. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, we'll start with a stick. Much easier to start the fire that way. I'm aware the stream is starting to go longer Come on, than fire. usual, but... I want to get to safety. Get through a loading screen at least so that it actually uh, saves. Uh, do I have more coffee? I don't think so. I do not. Uh... I can 
barely walk with this much gear. He had a decent chunk of meat on him. these mini wolves out, I don't, I want to get the hide and guts, but they're, it's non-stop out there, um, and since I'm exhausted, I don't, I don't think I would make it, I don't have enough flares or things like that to fight them off, um, one thing at a time. Go back to Trapper's Cabin, see if we can find some rabbits, use those for the guts, so that we can make a bow with the green sapling we just got, and we'll be in business. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. You know, I was thinking about sleeping, I'm a little nervous about it, but since I got the call, it is a very hot fire. You're not wrong. You know what, Hansberger? It's a good suggestion. Let's do it. to death. Probably should do more, but... You know, I'm honestly not sure. I know this is the exact way that I came. I feel like I'm almost halfway there. Not quite. We'll be halfway there when we get back to the knocked over train cars. sapling. I don't think I need it. Hans, you can tell me uh, if because if, I have another one already carrying somewhere else, too. I don't know how I feel about carrying a bunch of them. Really? Oh. 
Really? It's just another one? We're just gonna keep doing this now? light a torch in the wind like this, so gotta use the flare. Thank you, Hans. I wanted uh, to push myself as aggressively as I thought I could get away with. This is technically my fourth interloper run ever. So. That's why she's Delilah Hansberger. It's, uh, we started with Astrid and uh, just went through the alphabet to keep track of how we're doing. Of course the wind is in my face too, so we're just moving slow. Yeah, I was like, this area had thin ice last time. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll get back on the land. Letting up a little bit. Maybe. At least not as snowy, but it's still very windy. There's the train car. 
this. If I can get shelter from the wind, I can build fire for a little bit. Maybe take another power nap again. I just really wanted to get back to Mystery Lake. Maybe that was too ambitious. So one of the things I haven't talked about much is those auroras that some of you have been watching for a while will remember happen. They turn the power on. Um, it also messes with the wildlife. So you can have wolves get a lot more aggressive or... I don't know if it's a bug or intended, but they could lose their ability to um, lose their fear of fire. I was really hoping I was going to get to these trains before this, but, you know, we're just exhausted and the wind has been blowing at us, so we did make a lot of progress. Um, and so, in Aurora, in this situation, we would have died to wolves a bunch, so... You know, it wasn't my plan. I thought I was going to make more progress before it became nighttime. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's how this works. That's the game. mostly coming in one direction. Actually, I want to get over here. Yeah, that, that was a bad idea, but that's alright. I want to get over here because there's a hill on both sides. I get between... Oh, there is an inside. I knew there was! I felt dumb that I didn't find this earlier. Alright. Let's... Thanks, Hans. I knew this was here, but I didn't see it earlier, so I was like, was I wrong? But nope, here we go. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's let's burn an accelerant. Perfect. All right. Put that out. I want it warm and long. to make up the one I used up. There was an extra scrap metal. Oh well. Alright. So, gonna want another tea and a sleep. 
Might as well use these up, get as long as possible. Thank you for all the support, everybody. This is... I hope it comes across how exhilarating this is. It's a lot of fun for me. Hot herbal tea. It's gonna warm us up a bunch too. Uh, go ahead and drink some more water. Might as well eat some of these. Not fire. Bedroll. That is five hours. Ooh, we've even got an extra two hours here. I'm gonna take that. Since my fire starting skill means it lasts so much longer. Take those extra two hours. Get out of exhaustion. Weather sounds good. Sun's rising. Extra hour? Ooh. Is it because it's getting warmer with the sun rising? I wonder if that's what that is. Um, what do I have for torches? Handful. Alright, let's drink. We drink a drink, we drink them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys on, not cook, water. Got one more hour of sleep. We got a bunch of potable water. Torch. Tick torch. Grab a stick. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. So we're half dead. But the sun has risen. Pick up the call. Should probably just leave the scrap metal here, but whatever. We're back on the tracks. Let's get out of this area. I should, Hans, leave the hammer and metal and books, but I just kind of don't want to. It's probably a bad call, but I'd rather leave them in Trapper's Cabin. I don't know why. It's a brain disease, probably.
You're probably where I see Hawk Pack Rat Syndrome. I just, I want all my stuff in one place, you know? <laughs> Even when that's a bad idea. I think everyone who has played the game for more than 20 hours has opened their inventory and found they're carrying 80 plus sticks. It just happens. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. It's like, oh, hey, there it is. 50 pounds of sticks. That's what's weighing me down. everywhere I go.
hold for longer than I'd like. But if we make it back to trappers, that won't be a problem anymore. I did check him, right? Yeah, okay. because we know there was a bear and a moose near the cabin. And I'm a bad enough player that I might mess it up and get one of them to chase me, and we don't want that. Probably don't need to burn through all these torches, but we're going to. Keeping an eye on things while I was gone. Uh, no, you cannot hunt the crows. I believe because they want the crows to be symbolic, basically. But. Oh, don't you worry, dear, your days are numbered now. We got arrowheads. to check this barn last time because of all the wildlife. Let's just swoop through it real quick. I will. I haven't had well fed the entire run, but might as well get ready for that. game is saved. It, we're a half of hour over how long I normally do these, so we're going to call it there. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me. We successfully forged and got back to shelter. Um, we, we did the thing. Hooray. Uh, so next time we'll finish curing those birch saplings. Thank you, Hans. I feel good. Um, and start curing the maple sapling we picked up along the way. And see if we can get some rabbits in the area. I think that's the plan next time. Get rabbits for guts so that we can actually make the bow. And see if we can operate out of here for a while. Uh, thank you all for joining me. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next week.